what's going on guys um we apologize that the last video got cut off uh my, my dad thought he'd call me right in the middle of that <laughs> video and let me know that dinner was not unusual two hours yeah um you know but we thought uh since we were going to take a video of this jeep we wanted to talk about the time where i crashed my old jeep yep. wrangler that was interesting now this was um that was your first jeep this was my first jeep yeah. first car first jeep this was actually two days before my my uh, 19th birthday too that was um an interesting experience i'll tell you why because one we crashed and <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, two. <laughs> uh, it actually wasn't that funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't. It wasn't funny at all. I mean... Go on. Yeah. <laughs> the, a deer had popped out in the middle of the road, and um, I had pointed to the deer. Actually, no, I didn't point to the deer. I pointed to the guy in front of us. Yeah, I pointed at you the deer. You pointed at the deer. I was supposed to be driving the car. Yeah, and um, as he was looking at the deer, the guy in front of us, like a moron, slams on his brakes about like 50 yards away from the deer. So like not really that close to the deer, not in danger of hitting it, but decides he's going to just slam on the brakes. Yeah, and it was in the middle of a busy road, usually where people fly down. Um, I'm cruising. I see a deer, and, in, and instead of being a responsible adult and watch the fucking road, I had my head, like, out the window, like, hi, you know? Yeah. And then this guy locks his brakes up. Uh, I attempted to do the same, but it didn't work for me as well as him. Yeah. Uh, so I actually plowed into the back of a um, an electrical work truck. Yeah, it was a 2017 Dodge Ram 2500. Yeah. And, uh, dude, I remember the look on your face. It was like, oh, my God. Because <laughs> I looked over at you like a split second before we were about to crash. You know, I kind of just looked over at you and it was like, boom, it was an impact. I think it was around maybe 30 miles an hour or something like that. Yeah. Um, Unfortunately, I was not wearing my seatbelt. Uh, I watched him. Yeah. I, <laughs> as we crashed, as the impact happened, I wasn't looking at the truck. I was looking at him and his whole body lifted up off the seat and he just bounced off the dashboard. Actually pushed the whole dash in like two inches. Yeah, two it was inches. pretty impressive. Yeah. I remember right after I bounced back into my seat, I looked at you like, dude, why? I was and, perfectly uh, fine because I just <laughs> stiff armed it like this. <laughs> but dude, you hit the fucking bat. Man, that was bad. That was very, very bad. Yeah. I felt terrible for that. And then I turned the radio off and got out. The guy said he thought he felt like he got hit by a dump truck. You know, we were going not too fast, but uh, we made some good contact with him. Right. Anyway, we, we decided we were going to pull up right off the road a little ways to a do-it-yourself car wash. And uh, that's when we popped out. We looked at the damage, and it turns out that we had perfectly aligned his front bumper with the guy's rear hitch. So there was the no, guy's there was truck no, was fine. Yeah. No, yeah. Well, no, no, no. My Jeep was fine. Your his, Jeep was fine. His whole back end was blown out. Well, you know, it was and it wasn't. He had about four thousand dollars worth of damage oh, okay. because it was a work truck, and you know, minus yeah. all the paperwork that was all over the floor in the back of his truck. I'm sure he got yelled at for that one. Yeah, um, it definitely moved his toolbox a good bit. Yeah, every, off, everything <laughs> in the bed of the truck was just everywhere. The toolbox in the bed of the truck actually came off the hinges and was like laying sideways in the truck <laughs> like this. I felt horrible for the whole situation. Yeah, um, I was trying know. to make peace with everybody and be like, "All right, let's chill. You know, it's not too bad." Let's just look at the bright side. And, you know, no one wants to look at the bright side. No, that was that was the first time. That was that was my first accident. So I was actually pretty shooken up. Um, now, when I got home, you've had more than one accident. Oh man, I got I got screwed up a couple times. But we're gonna talk about that <laughs> in another video. Um, you know, this was the first time I've ever crashed my own personal vehicle. Uh, and when I got home, I told my father, and it was strange. It's a nice truck. Yeah. It was strange uh, because he didn't ask me if I was okay. Mm -hmm. He just he just skipped right to the screaming at me part. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I was shook. I had no idea what to expect from this. But it was like, so here's what happened. And then your dad just went. Actually, as a matter of fact, this is about a week after I quit my job. So I had no sorts of income. You know, I was young. I couldn't really pay for the damages. Um, mm -hmm. You know, so the whole thing was just very unfortunate. So bad timing, really. Rule of thumb, ladies and gentlemen, wear your seatbelts, especially if you're in a Jeep. Okay? Also, don't crash if you're gonna 
quit. Yeah. If you quit your job, don't get in an accident. Yeah, it's yeah. not. It's, it's not very good. important that you remember that you don't have money. <laughs> uh, yeah. What happened? So you you hit the tip the the hitch and it caved in the front bumper. I don't know if you guys know what it looks like, but on a Jeep TJ, uh, the front bumper is kind of like a folded. Uh, I don't know, like what would you call that? Yeah, it's just a beam. It's just a metal beam. It's a metal beam that connects to the frame. So I actually, I actually <clears throat> bent. Uh, yeah, it caved in just like this. I bent his toe hitch down. I bent his bumper in. Uh, his tailgate, the one that lifts and closes, that was actually it had like toe hook marks on it from the front end of my Jeep. Um, but like I said, he had about four thousand dollars worth of damage. Like the toolbox in the bed of the truck was blown off the hinges. All the paperwork and mm -hmm. stuff in the truck was scattered everywhere. I screwed a lot of shit up. Um, you know. On my Jeep, it cost me forty dollars for a new front bumper. I mean, my frame was bent, but I you hit did off. have to move the engine. Yeah, the engine slid back. Yeah, yeah, no, no, the engine was pushed forward and the trans was pushed forward too. So yeah. a new set of motor mounts and a new trans mount fixed everything. Yeah. Um, you know, that, how long did that take you? Well, I mean, that that was about probably like a two-hour job. Something yeah, like that. so that's not too bad. You know, so the whole yeah. thing was, <laughs> the whole thing was just pretty upsetting. Um, yeah, you know, because it was it was my first vehicle. It was you know my it's your baby, you know. It was my baby. Yeah, yeah. right. So, yeah, uh, be careful out there. Shit can happen, especially if you're in a Jeep too. You're not. You're not safe. You're not invincible. Unless okay? you're driving one of these, where uh, we can do a couple roly poly ollies and uh, we'll probably still be okay. I mean, look, we got the roll cage right here. Yeah, yeah. Well, that roll cage is there because you actually have a ninety percent higher chance of rolling in one of these than a normal car. <laughs> That's true. I don't know if the airbags are hooked up in this thing. This is actually a pretty sketchy ride, but people oh, the it. airbags weren't hooked up in the TJ though. They were not. We figured that out. Yeah. In when fact, we hit the other. In car. fact, he actually reminded the cop. He said, "Weren't the airbags supposed to go off in this thing?" And the cop looks at me and he goes, "Yeah, they were." And I looked at you, I was like, weird, huh? <laughs> Later, you like you told me that someone had disconnected them because you had a winch installed. Yeah. Yeah, good thing, too, because that airbag probably would have hurt a whole lot more than that cushiony dash made of plastic and vinyl. I've been in other accidents in other people's cars, and you hear... I'll, st I'll, st I'll never forget those sounds, like the metal tanging and the smell of the airbags and the dust in the air. Oh. Oh, that one. Then usually the other person screaming because they just totaled their car and you're just trying to figure out how to how to get home. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's an interesting yeah. situation to be in an accident for sure. Because your entire day totally changes. First you have these plans, you're about to go do them, you're running late for those plans, boom, you're in an accident, all of a sudden none of that matters and you're just trying to figure out the situation. Right. Right. So, you know what? Um, you know, I would encourage all of you to get a Jeep and do that whole lifestyle, but just, you know, wear a helmet when you're doing it. <laughs> yeah, a big styrofoam helmet would really help. I can I can say that it was, a, it was an interesting experience for sure. Nothing like it. Nothing like it. All right, guys, so that was my story about when I uh, crashed my first car. And um, yeah. we hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and we'll see you on the next video. Sounds good. We'll see you. Later.